Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gavag USA. In this video, I'll show you how to fix a cell phone. It's a Galaxy S3. As you can see, the glass is not here because the customer broke it and he gave it the way it is, the way you see it now. But besides that, the cell phone works fine. As you can see, no problem. So before starting, we are going to turn it off and then we are going to remove the battery. Um. Now we see all the screws here. We are going to remove them all and then we are going to take it apart so we can put the UV glue here. For example, this kind uh, works well. And then we are going to use the replacement to fix it. Now that we have removed all the screws, we can put them or set them apart. So if you mix them, it will not be a problem because all are the same. The iPhone, they have uh, different sizes, but here is that is not the case. So we are going to take it like that and start pulling the plastic, as you see. We, here we have a connector, we can lift it up with a nail and then we can remove it or you can use a plastic tool to lift them up. Here we have a connector for the camera. We're going to remove them. Also, you have here another connector from the screen. And here we have another connector from the antenna. In this case, I'll use like a knife. So we are going to do this movement to lift it up. That is uh, one of the best ways. And then we can start lifting up the logic board and remove the whole thing. Now that we have the cell phone like that, we're going to try to remove the camera. You can push here a little bit. Of course, don't touch the lens, just on the side. Uh, here you can push the sensor, so don't scratch the lens. Now that we have it like that, we're going to clean it up a little bit. We can use an alcohol to do that. So we're going to put just a little. And we are going to use a cotton to clean up the whole screen. If you don't know how to remove the Gorilla Glass in another videos I show you in another model like S4 or Note 2, how to remove the Gorilla Glass. Also, I have another video how to do the same with the S3 cell phone. So now that we have it like that, uh, it's clean. We're going to apply this UV glue. The reason that I moved the sensor and the camera is just in case if something happened, like the glue goes over the camera, it will be a little complicated or difficult to clean the cameras and the sensor. So it's better to remove and take, take apart the whole phone almost.
In this area, try to apply a little glue. It's better if the glue never reach that part. And then you can put more in the other side. And you can put more in the middle. Okay, now that we have done that, we're going to remove the, we're going to peel the film from the replacement from both sides. Try not to touch this part. This part, you can touch it all you want because if it gets dirty, you can clean it up later on. But here, it will be difficult to clean it up even if you use alcohol and everything, so try to keep it like that. And remember that some color, usually the blue one has like another film that you have to peel it out. So in this case, it doesn't have it, but if you want, you can scratch it a little bit and see if it has another thing. So now we're going to start from the top to the bottom. And we are going to use the knife and we are going to be putting it very slowly, otherwise it will start making bubbles. So try to avoid that or it will be difficult to fix it later on. you see is advancing like slowly Now we are going to grab it and start pushing the glue. First in the top. Now we are going to use the UV light. We're going to turn it on. And it's always to leave it uh, on for a little bit before putting the phone because it will take a little longer to warm up the lights and start working. So once we have accomplished that, we're going to put the phone Now you can release it a little bit and see if it moves. Push it again, leave it under the light for a little longer. Okay, now that is not moving. Uh, we see that in the other side of the cell phone is looks fine. Maybe here we have a little bubble that we can push a little bit.
and we have to leave it under the light. Okay, now we are going to leave the cell phone under the light for 15, 20 minutes and then we are going to come back in a little while, meanwhile it dries. Well, the time has passed and we are ready to finish working with the phone. So once we have accomplished that, we're going to use the plastic tool to remove the UV glue. It's better to remove it, the one that was overflowing, once it's dry. Otherwise, it will be difficult to remove it when it's in the liquid form because it will spread all over the screen. So this way is easier. So you can do that. And after we have done that, we can leave it in the other side, just in case if there was a little overflow. In this side, we, we see here a little bit, maybe in this part, maybe a little, just a little tiny bit uh, where the camera is. So we are going to leave it on the under the UV light a little bit more, and then we are going to come back. Well, we have left on the UV light the cell phone in the other side, so we can turn off the light, and then we can start. We can start working on the cell phone. We're going to try to remove the UV glue. As you can see, the glue is dry, so we're going to remove everything so we can put the logic board and whatever goes on top of on the cell phone, otherwise you are not going to be able to see the logic board here or whatever is, is the case. Now here we have like a little toothpick but it's, pl it's plastic because it came from the Victory Knox. So I use this to remove anything that might be on the glass inside. So you have to be careful with that. If there is something dry, you will be able to remove it that way. Otherwise, you will have to fix it with the cotton, something like that. And we are going to use a little of alcohol here that we used before to clean the screen. Always try to clean it from the other side because sometimes you may be cleaning the wrong side. because it might be dirty from this side and, the, and you think it's the other side, but when that is not the reality. As you can see, there is nothing there. Now that we have finished cleaning that part, we're going to put all the parts back together. We can, we can start with the sensor. And you have to be careful that you will not squeeze the antenna when you try to put the logic board. Alright, once you have done that, squeeze here, you have to snap the connector where it belongs. 
this is the most difficult thing you have to push it in the right place, the antenna this is the maybe the hard part where you have to put the antenna in its place okay now that is connected we can try to put the rest of the ports here we have the speaker phone so leave it like that then we have the plastic do some pressure and we're going to put just one or two screws just to test the phone and see if it works okay now we are going to put the battery and turn it on and see how it goes as you can see the cell phone works we have to clean the glass a little bit but besides that everything looks fine we're going to put the other screws so we can deliver the cell phone to the customer Okay, that's it. We have put all the screws. As you can see, the cell phone works fine. You can try the camera. As you see the camera here, the frontal camera works too. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have any doubt, leave me a comment in the section below. And see you to the next video. See ya.